we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. Much love. To those who purchased the three kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because, guys, we are getting close to that main event. And then also, much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And, of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, there's blood in the street. We know that CME opens tonight, which is going to swing the market, and plus the stock market opens. And then already, guys, we're going to have a volatile week. We know futures contracts end. Plus, we know what the Fed has to do in order to build this fourth industrial revolution. So, guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yields. Yields are very important. They were pushing yield rates down on Friday. And then plus, guys, we have volume, we have tether, we have USDC, and then, of course, the Fed. We know the repo is helping control the actual yield rates. And then we know the Fed is going to raise the rates. They have to roll money off of this balance sheet. And then plus, stop QE. And guys, like I stated, it sounds impossible. It's never been done. And plus, Europe is going to do the same thing. And that's the reason why we're waiting on the big distraction. And we keep seeing the actual Russia narrative keep popping up because we know they need something or someone to blame. And then also distract the masses while they're running the money in the back door in order to build this fourth industrial revolution. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And remember the crypto teacher told you. And then also, guys, we have Grayscale. We saw Grayscale sale going into the actual weekend. We know they've been moving lockstep with the Fed. So make sure you're keeping an eye on the Grayscale well. And then plus, guys, we have futures. We have back on Thursday and then regular futures on this Friday. It is going to be a roller coaster ride over the next three weeks. Because, guys, we have futures. We have open interest. And then, guys, we have the government funding ends on the 11th. And then we have the Federal Reserve meeting on the 15th and 16th. And like I stated, I don't see them actually rolling off this balance sheet until July. And the reason why I say that, because the masses are going to be out and about. It's summertime. They're not thinking about the economy. And remember, guys, even before the pandemic came, the average person didn't even have a thousand dollars in their savings account or couldn't go two paychecks without falling into poverty. 
So do not forget that. And now we have inflation eating at the dollar. And we know the central banks created all of this, but all this is orchestrated. So then therefore they can bring in automation, which is going to cause hyper deflation. And it's going to happen fast because by raising rates, guys, they're going to choke off of this economy. So that's the reason why you're going to start seeing so many layoffs, closings. You're going to think you're going to be in another world. But we know what the reason why is because now they have to bring in all of this automation. But we're actually going to be living it, seeing it while the sheep are getting moved over and have no clue of what's going on in the economy. The same way the average person can explain to you how the current system works. So they're definitely not going to explain to you how the digital economy works. Now, I'm not your financial advice, not financial advice. Please do your own research. While we're going to be headed down, guys, we're still going to have pumps and dumps. Even though we're pulling back right now, when open interest comes, the casino is still wide open, so we're still going to be moving up. It's not going to be those big pumps that we were used to, but we're still going to be moving up even though the Fed is going to be pulling back. So the pumps and dumps are going to be there for an opportunity if you're trading to make money. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, getting over to a little crypto news. We have Coinbase pays $250,000 to a researcher who found a bug. And he should have got $1 to $10 million. This is a publicly traded company. Now we have OpenSea plan upgrade stalls as phishing attack targets NFT migration. Of course, guys, I went over this yesterday. I tell you, it's a lot of fishy things that go on with NFTs, the exchanges. So I knew something was going to happen like I stated yesterday. And lastly, guys, we have Safe Moon pump and dump lawsuit targets Jake Paul, Soldier Boy, and others. Throughout crypto, guys, we've seen a lot of pumps and dumps, and this is no difference to what John McAfee used to do, but we know they're going to pick and choose who they actually hold accountable, because if you're investing your money, you should definitely be doing your own research, not paying attention to idols, but we know that's what the sheep do, and that's the reason why the New Road Order pushes the agendas through them. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, It's Time to Reeducate. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks, you have your Cobo, your Chip Stocks, your Banking, your Gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the C-Red, the Biotech Stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture we have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part one, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part two, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part three, King Yahshua and Grandma Tim goes to China.
it's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.